first look at both these teams on FBTV for 2017. We're out at Kippen Park for the 6th versus 11th clash from Capital 2, where Western Spirit won four out of their opening five matches, but they haven't tasted victory since the Round 5 9-1 win over Pine Rivers. For Pine Hills, their only win came two rounds ago against last-placed Park Ridge. Carl Harper has the whistle for this one as we see the two teams in their final pre-match huddle. We're about to get underway. Capital 2 action. The second half of the season commences and it's Pine Hills in their change white strip who bang it long early on. Now Western Spirit in possession in their attacking half. Wide out on the right as the cross is delivered low and touched on there. Looks like it's taken a touch off Pine Hills and gone out for a corner. As Pine Hills look to open the scoring here. Boland is hold. And then from outside the box, a timid shot straight to Morrill. Western Spirit out of their own half, played through by Muir. And again, the attack comes down the right wing. And it's scored here for Western Spirits. The opening goal comes on the 14th minute mark. The through ball played by Andrew Muir. And it's Dylan Goodman who opens the scoring for the home side. Panther cut out there by the defender. Now making forward progress is Salado. Just held at the edge of the box. Tried to curl it into the top left corner there, but too high and over the crossbar. Played on by Muir. Again, familiarity here for Western Spirit. So make a run deep into the attacking area. Played past Dunn for Muir. Muir off the left foot. And not too far away from a second goal there. Midway through the first half for Western Spirit. Giving the thumbs up. Pine Hills on the halfway line. Action down the left this time. Ball played towards the edge of the box. Solano thought better of it, and it was a good move in the end because Pine Hills have found the equaliser 25 minutes into the first half through Alex Boland. The ball played by Solano, and Boland on hand to equalise the match. Played square by Muir for Walters. Ball delivered into the box. Johnny on the spot. Will the goal stand? No, it won't. The assistance flags up for a offside. The Pine Hills player pointing out to Andrew Muir that fact. And on that angle, if it's taken a touch from Goodman on the way through for Dunn, the Lions made a good call. So on a still shared, heading into second half action. Will it be Pine Hills that go ahead here? Bit of jinking there at the edge of the box. And Morrell tips it onto the crossbar. And it manages to stay out of the goal. Morrell, all he can do is look on fortuitously. It bounces off the crossbar and sits very nicely there for Morrell. And Pine Hills, desperate unlucky there not to pick up the second goal for them. Meanwhile, crowded inside the six-yard box. Somehow Pine Hills scramble. Still alive there for Western Spirit, though. Here's Dunn. Off the left peg. And again, just wide here from the home side, but high fives all round. Step over the ball. The white shirts come in quickly, deflected away there by Wenk. And Muir can't get a touch on towards target. Fog starting to roll in here at Kippen Park. And that a good challenge. This is good from Pine Hills launching inside their own territory. And Morell on hand to dampen that one. Gonzalez in there for Gifford. Was there a tug of the shirt? The yellow card comes out. The Western Spirit player has been booked. And Pine Hills here... 
from the spot. Yep, tug on the shirt there by Aaron Gifford. Carl Harper in good position to adjudicate. Here's Isaac Gonzalez. Tucks it away. Pine Hills now have the lead with two and a half minutes plus stoppage time remaining. It just gives a little signal to the visiting bench. Spirit. Can they claim a late equaliser here? Link will take his time. Now with the late goal kick. And that is full time. Pine Hills bring up their second victory of 2017. They've defeated Western Spirit by two goals to one.